The Irish washerwoman is a fun Irish jig to play. Let's get started. We're going to start out going D, C, B, G, G like this. Beginning, ready, set, go! We're going to continue on by adding D, G, G like this. Let's give it a try. Ready, set, go! We're going to go B, G, B, D. Let's try it, everybody. Ready, set, go! We're going to continue on coming down in a scale from D. D, C, B. So when you put it together, it goes... Let's give it a try. Bar two. Ready, set, here we go. Now make sure it's a C natural and not a C sharp. This is going to be low second finger on the A string for violas and violins and two on the A string for cellos. Let's play from the beginning. D, C, B. Ready, set, go. Let's give it another go. Ready, set, go! Alright, we're going to move on to bar three. Here we're going to go C, A, A, D, A, A. Do you see the pattern here? We're going back and forth. Note, same, note, note, same, note. Like this. Let's give it a try, bar three. One, two, three, here we go. Let's do it again because it's fun. One, two, three, bar three, go. We're going to continue on C, A, C, and then we're going to go up to E. So violins and violas, you're just going to go two, A, two, four, three, two. For bar four. Cellos, you're going to shift up to second position and do a, an extension forward to reach your C, A, shift to C with your first finger, four on E, two on D, one on C, and then we're going to come back down in the next bar, one on B. Let's give this a try. It sounds like this. Let's try that C, A, C, E, D, C. Ready, set, go. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, here we go. All right, let's give it a try from the beginning. Ready, set, go. Let's do it again. Once more and go. Bar five, I bet you guessed, starts just like the beginning, minus the pickup which we've already done at the end of bar four. I'll play how much of it is the same. So this is going to be bars five and six. Violins, violas, and cellos, I wanna challenge you to leave your first finger down on the A string for both of these bars. You can do this at the beginning as well. Bars five and six, let's give it a try, everybody. One, two, three, here we go. All right, here's the new stuff. Bar seven goes C, B, C, A, like this. 
Let's just try that little bit, C, B, C, A. Ready, set, here we go. Once more, let's do it again. Ready, set, here we go. All right, continuing on, we're going to go D, C, B, G, 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 like this. Let's give that a try from D, C, B. Ready, set, go. You may find that this sounds just like the beginning, and you'd be right. Here's bar seven and eight. I'm not doing the pickup to repeat, we're just gonna end on those three Gs. Let's give it a try. Bar seven, ready, set, go. Let's do it once more. One, two, three, here we go. Okay, let's give the whole A part a try. Let's try it twice because it repeats. We're going to take the first ending and then we're going to end in the middle of the second ending. Let's give it a try beginning two times of the A part. One, two, three, go. Okay, time for the B part. Violins, I'm going to give this to you up an octave a little bit later. Right now we're going to try to learn it down an octave with the violas, cellos, and basses. We're going to start right on that same exact G that we ended the A part on. So for violins, violas, and cellos, this is going to be G on the D string. These are the last two notes of the second ending. G, A, and then here's the B part, B. I'll play it for you. You've probably noticed that this starts almost the same way as the A part did, just with different pickups. Let's give it a try. G, A, B, G, G, D, G, G. Ready, set, go! Let's do it again. I'm just playing that very last G in the second ending. G, A, and then going on to the B part. Ready, set, go! Moving on, B, G, B, B, A, G. Like this. You can leave your first finger down if you like. Ready, set, bar 11, go. Let's do bar 11 again. B, G, B, B, A, G. One, two, three, here we go. Let's go from the end of the second ending. G, A, and then here we are in the B part. Ready, set, go. Okay, moving on, we have bar 12. It's the same pattern, but we're going to play it over a D chord. A, F sharp, F sharp, D, F sharp, F sharp, like this. Let's give this a try, bar 12. Ready, set, here we go. Once more. Ready, set, here we go. Moving on to bar 13. A, F sharp, A, A, G, F sharp, like this. Let's do it. One, two, 
three, here we go. Once more. One, two, three, here we go. Okay, let's play the first four bars of the B part. This is going from the end of the second ending, G, A, B, into the B part. And ready, set, go. Let's try it once more. Same place. Ready, set, go. For bars 14 and 15, we have a scale going down from E down to D to C to B with G interspersed between. We're going to put two G's in between each of these notes. So it's going to go E, G, G, D, G, G, C, G, G, B, G, G, like this. Obviously, the farther away these notes get from G, the more difficult they are to play, return to G, and come back to the next part of the scale. We have E, G, G, D, G, G, that isn't so bad, but then we have C, G, G. I recommend doing something called block and rock if you play the viola or violin, or maybe even cello if you can get this to work. You put your finger kind of in between the two, and you swing your elbow to hit both. So this is how you're going to go from C up to G. And then you're going to put your second finger, or cello's your third finger, on the G string to continue on. Let's give this a try. This is actually the beginning of bar 15. C, G, G, B, G, G. Let's give it a try. Block and rock. Ready, set, go. I suggest this technique because if you want to play it faster, you won't have time to put your finger on the G string, pick it up, and put it on the D string. You'll have to have it with kind of one foot on each string. Let's try this from bar 14. E, G, G. D, G, G, C, G, G with our block and rock, and B, G, G. One, two, three, here we go. You'll notice that when I put my finger on the G string, I did in fact pick it up. E, G, G, D, G, G. I didn't try to rock it from the D string. You want to block starting with the lower string, in this case, and you want to go from the G string to the D string, swinging your elbow back. Let's give it one more try. Bars 14 and 15. Ready, set, here we go. Finally, for the last two bars, we're going to end up with an octave down version of the end of the A part. Unless you're playing this an octave up, on violin, in which case it'll be the same. C, B, C, A, D, C, B, G, G, G. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, here we go. Let's do it once more. Bar 16, ready, set, go. Okay, let's try the whole B part. We're going to play it twice, just like it says. From the end of the second ending in the A part. G, A, B part. And ready, set, go.
violins. I hope you were paying attention when I worked with the violas, cellos, and basses. Otherwise, it's all right. We will just go a little bit faster in the B part this time. So we're going to start with two, three, four, two, two, three, two, two. So G, A, B, G, G, D, G, G. Ready, set, go. Let's do it again. Ready, set, go. Now we're going to reach up for our four again. B, G, B, B, A, G. So four, two, four, four, three, two. Ready, set, here we go. Let's do it again. Bar 11. Ready, set, here we go. Okay, let's go from the end of the second ending again. This is G, A, B, going into the B part. Ready, set, go. Moving on. Three, one, one, three, one, one, three, one, three, three, two, one. So it's A, F sharp, F sharp, D, F sharp, F sharp, A, F sharp, A, A, G, F sharp. Leave your one down on the E string the whole time when you play these two bars. I'll show you here is bar 12 and 13. Really give it a try. Try to leave your first finger down. Let's play bars 12 and 13 violins. Ready, set, here we go. Okay, let's try from the beginning of the B part. Last two notes and the end of the second ending going into B. Two, three, four. Ready, set, go. Okay, moving on. We've got bar 14 and 15. E, two, two, three, two, two, hop, low, two, 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 one, two, two. I was talking before to the violas, cellos, and basses about block and rock. We're going to do this with our second finger. So it's going to be low second finger, C, on the A string, and we're going to rock by swinging our elbows backwards as we hit two on the E string. Let's give this a try. We're just going to go... Two, 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 C, G, G. This is bar 15. Give it a try. Two, two, two. Just those and ready, set, go. I hope you're doing it by blocking and rocking. That means putting your second finger kind of in between the two strings and swinging your elbow so that you can hit one string and then the other. Okay, we're going to back up and try it from bars 14 and 15. E, two, two, three, two, two. Block and rock, two, 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 one, two, two. Let's give it a try. Fourteen, and here we go. Okay, let's do it once more. One, two, three, here we go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing at the end of the B part as we did at the end of the A part. C, B, C, A, D, C, B, G, G, G. And then when we repeat, we're going to hop back over two, three, four. So let's do the very end of this B part. Two, one, two, A, this is bar 16. Ready, set, here we go. <laughs> let's do it once more. Bar 16, here we go. Okay, violins, let's try the whole B part. We're going to do it twice, just like it says in the tune. Two, three, four, going from the end of the second ending. Ready, set, go. Go. 